never allow the government to decide what is acceptable speech and what is unacceptable speech. Um, we, should, we should penalize behaviors, not opinions, and not speech. Uh, if you start trying to regulate speech, you start trying to regulate uh, thoughts, you start trying to regulate beliefs rather than behaviors, uh, there's no way that you're not going to abridge the constitutional rights of millions of Americans. Roman Doc Niche. You saw me in an ambulance in Aleppo, the city of Syria, back in 2016 when Russian airstrikes destroyed my home. I was three then, today I'm almost nine. Please watch my friend's YouTube channel. <laughs>
We should never allow the government to decide what is acceptable speech and what is unacceptable speech. Um, we, should, we should penalize behaviors, not opinions, and not speech. Uh, if you start trying to regulate speech, you start trying to regulate uh, thoughts, you start trying to regulate beliefs rather than behaviors, uh, there's no way that you're not going to abridge the constitutional rights of millions of Americans. Fallout is dust that is sucked up from the ground by the explosion. It can be deadly dangerous. It rises high in the air and can be carried by winds for hundreds of miles before falling to the ground. It's always wise to keep an eye open for the black and yellow public fallout shelter signs. Each one marks a place that's been thoroughly checked for proper shielding against radioactive fallout in the event of nuclear attack. And in many cases, these shelters have been stocked with emergency food rations, water, and basic survival equipment. Many local governments have completed a community shelter planning program which instructs the citizens to go to specific public shelters. Find out exactly where the shelters are and the best way to reach them. Wherever you go, at home or at work, make sure that you and every member of your family know where to go and what to do in case of an emergency. Many public fallout shelters are stocked with austere rations of food, water, medical and sanitation kits, and instruments to measure fallout radiation. Some haven't been stocked so far. And because you might have to remain in a shelter for from two days to two weeks to escape the effects from fallout radiation following a nuclear attack, the question of supplies becomes important. Be prepared to take with you as much water and ready-to-eat food as you can carry. Even if the shelter is stocked with basic supplies, 
you may need to take along some additional items to ease your shelter stay. First, take any special medicines or diet foods needed for reasons of health, such as insulin or heart tablets. Next, if there is a baby in the family, take baby foods and necessary medicines, ingredients for mixing the formula, bottles, diapers, and other infant supplies. A blanket for each member of the family would be helpful, and a flashlight and extra batteries. Keep your supplies all assembled in one place. The important thing to remember is to find out now where you may have to take shelter and plan what essential items you will have to take with you if you use a public fallout shelter. Rated PG-13. He came from Earth. He was only four years old. He was the son of a diplomat. He was a time traveler. And the first ever to visit another world. His name is Jason McRich. He's going where no boy has ever gone before. To a place called Opposite Earth is what? Now on DVD and Blu-ray. <laughs> 